Over the past few years, I have been collecting Thomas. When I first started collecting Thomas, I always wondered what the rarest Thomas train was. This led me to a dangerous path of collecting Thomas prototypes and oh boy, it did not come in one piece. In exchange, it took a chunk of my life. I wake up, go on eBay, talk with collectors, record what I've learned, and buy, buy, and buy. Why? Because I wanted them. And during one of my buying sprees, I bought these peculiar trains. This is a 2017 conceptual bill and Ben. You can tell that it was a concept for 2017 because of the similarity in color of the body and wheels, but also the number of funnels and domes. It is very interesting because the side has James graphics stamped on it while the top part has the Thomas lines. The faces are identical to the 2017 Bill and Ben's, but they did not print out the Brendan Bay alongside with the other classical Bill and Ben graphics. Concept Bill had black roof while the official one had gray. Now let's flip it over and examine the chassis. Oh, I didn't know they were both Bills. What do these codes mean? The number indicates that Bill was manufactured on the 219th day of 2016. Which if we do the math, it comes to be August 10th. And I can prove this to you. This Annie also has the same code stamped. However, this Annie came with a sticker label on the top that indicates the following date. Now what does TLE and Y4422 stand for? TLE is most likely an abbreviation for the factory in China and Y4422 is the product number for Annie and Clarabel. According to the wiki, the 2017 Annie and Clarabel had more pronounced details. Definitely not wrong. On a serious note, the color of the body matches the 2013 to 2017 Annie except for the fact that the wheels are red. And it definitely has pronounced details. Meet Flynn, Timothy, and Butch. What do these three have in common? Not only the face aren't painted, but they have green paint on them. From this, we can speculate that the factory used green primers to coat it before they paint the trains and graphics. Fun fact about Timothy is that they used a shark car light up chassis, while we also have a factory error Flynn here. Hang on, which one's the factory error? Now this is Butch, and I will give this exact train away once we reach 1000 subscribers, so subscribe because we are getting so close and we will continuously do giveaways every 7 subs we get. The next train I'm about to show you is very confusing. It's a Hugo that has a gator body, or would you say it's a gator with Hugo's graphic? Another key thing is that it has red wheels. You might think this is a factory error, but I think it's a concept model and let me tell you why. Diving into my conspiracy theory, to test out Hugo's graphics, they probably found the most similar shaped train, aka Gator, and stamped Hugo's graphic on them to see how it looks. For the chassis, they found a random part hanging around and nailed it in, and that is why our wheels are red but also no name stamped on it. Absolutely no evidence guys, so don't trust me on this. Now when I title these videos, I always say prototype just because YouTube wants me to. However, none of the items I've shown you so far are considered prototypes in my books. So what is a prototype? I define prototypes as finished models that have officially been shown in an official pamphlet. What are these models then? Mm, I call these concept models meaning that these models are not finished or finished but never really came to fruition. Another category I don't necessarily call prototypes is cancelled items. We have a whole video dedicated to cancelled Thomas items so for those who are new here welcome and check this video out after this because you will see some very cool trains. Now the most closest thing I will consider a prototype would be this Herald. This was made in 2016 with the same Herald body as the 2013 to 2017 Herald. Except for the fact that the propellers are red and the base materials are a little different. This is Trevor and oh my goodness, the face was so ugly that for a moment, I mean literally until I verified it through wiki, I believed it to be a fake and I have very good reasons too. It didn't have any code on it and I guess they had dated wheels, but you know, 
On the brighter side, Trevor itself is a very cool engine where you can move the train by spinning the gears. Thomas, Salty, Harvey, and Charlie are trains that did not get painted. From a manufacturing standpoint, I think it is more practical to paint the parts first before assembling them. But for these trains, I think the people really wanted to know the shape of the train before they proceeded to mass produce. As you guys can see, I love buying trains. I buy, buy, and buy. Is this going to be a problem? Absolutely not. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100.